Welcome back to Live on the 802. We are here with Katya from Artisanal Cellars to talk about one of my favorite subjects, wine. wine. <laughs> yes, Katya, welcome to Thank the you. program. Let us uh, know a little about the company you work for. Thank you so much, um, Taryn, for having us today here. It's a beautiful day in Vermont, and uh, who doesn't like to talk about wine? I don't and, know. Um, so my name is Katja Matthews. I work as a sales manager for Southern Vermont uh, for Artisanal Cellars, and uh, we are a small independent-owned um, a distribution, distribution company here in uh, Vermont and then also an importing company and uh, Rafael Flores started the business in 2007 so we're going into our 13th year now and uh, because he had a love for wine and also a love for small family farms that he wanted to support and to bring into this country and uh, one of the first countries he worked with was Austria and uh, I don't know if you know much about Austrian wine but uh, Austrian wine is really only less than one percent of the total production of worldwide made wine. And uh, when you have Austria here on the map, um, only here in the very eastern part is uh, wine made. It's perfect climate there. You have uh, the continental uh, warm summers, cold winters, and uh, just a great environment to make wine. And then of course now with uh, climate change, uh, more and more red wine is being made as well in Austria. But um, mostly uh, Austria has been known for white wines. And uh, so a lot of uh, Grüner Weidliner, Riesling, uh, and other white wine grapes. Um, but Grüner Weidliner is uh, one of the grape variety that is indigenous uh, to Austria. And I don't know if you ever heard about Grüner Weidliner. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful wine. It's a, a dry white wine that you see um, with a lot of minerality. Grüner Weidliner usually always has a little white peppery um, mm. taste, uh, nice fruit. And uh, the Steininger family is one of the wineries um, that we represent and one that we worked from the very beginning. And uh, here we have um, one of their um, signature wines, uh, which is the Loisium uh, Weingarten. It was uh, just written up in Wine Enthusiast magazine. Uh, the 2018 vintage got 93 points and um, the uh, label was uh, designed by Stephen Hall. He is an architect uh, who helped working uh, with the Steininger family or with the people in Langenloy to make um, the um, Loisium Museum, which is a wine museum, mm. but then also they have uh, a Loisium Hotel and uh, everything is underground uh, connected, which is really cool. And um, talking about uh, like that we support local farms and local families, um, we actually uh, have the pleasure to get to know all the winemakers that we work with, that we import to the country, and, uh, and they also come and visit us here. So I know you will talk later with a story from the Red Fox shop, yes. and uh, she got to meet uh, Brigitte Steininger, who was here last year to visit us and uh, to do a tasting and, um, at the store. And uh, so Brigitte is here with her husband. And they started the winery in the 1980s, and then their children now uh, are the next generation of winemakers. And um, I actually will be going over there in uh, just a couple of weeks um, to do my, uh, my Austrian wine trip, where I get to see uh, many of the wineries that we import and uh, taste the new vintages to make sure everything is up to snap so that you get um, the best here um, in, um, in Vermont and, and over in the, oh, uh, in the US as well. So I am very blessed to have mm -hmm. a really great job. And uh, I work with um, small uh, restaurants and then specialty shops. So none of these wines are available in uh, supermarkets. Okay, so all of are all of your wines mm -hmm. imported? Uh, no, we have uh, some wines that we work with uh, domestic as well, from Oregon, from California. Um, we have a beautiful winery here in Vermont even, uh, La Garagista, uh, which is uh, by Barnard in Woodstock. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, some wines uh, from Spain and Portugal that are imported by other importing companies that we sell here in Vermont. Well, these seem like uh, such interesting wines that you wouldn't find necessarily in every restaurant. No, no. So locally, again, you can find these wines where? At the Red Fox shop mm -hmm. um, at, um, in, in Wilmington. And then I also work uh, with Folly's uh, restaurant in, in Wilmington, um, with Kathleen and Peter, and a uh, small fine dining restaurant and perfect um, to you know, support these small farm wineries as well. Uh, what is important to us as well is that many of the farms uh, are producing wines uh, organic or biodynamically mm -hmm. or sustainable. And uh, so it's a healthier way of uh, farming, of making the wine, and uh, for you to feel better when you drink these wines. Great. 
Well, if you're looking to try one of these wines, head to Folly Foods yeah. to have a nice fine dining experience, or head to Red Fox Shop where you can even go in for a wine tasting and perhaps meet someone from the vineyard. I be there sometimes oh. and do wine tastings with Story. Great. And uh, I'm just so happy to be here. Well, we are happy to have you, Katya. Thank you so much My pleasure. for stopping in and showcasing some of your wines. Stay tuned, more to come live on the 802. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, cheers. Thank you.